Ever pondered about the mysteries of the universe, what lies beyond our planet in the vast expanse of the cosmos? Now imagine asteroids, these ancient remnants from the dawn of our solar system. Orbiting the sun for billions of years, they hold secrets about the early universe just waiting to be unraveled. From the far-flung corners of the cosmos, they've journeyed through space and time. Today, we're voyaging into the universe to explore five intriguing asteroids. First, we encounter asteroid Ida, discovered in 1884 by Austrian astronomer Johann Palisa. This celestial body has an interesting companion, its moon Dactyl, discovered over a century later in 1994 by Anne Harch of the Galileo Imaging Team. Ida made headlines not just for its discovery, but for being the first asteroid found to have its own moon. This discovery was a significant milestone, adding a new layer of complexity to our understanding of the cosmos. The naming of Ida is a story in itself. Maurice von Kuffner, a Viennese brewer and amateur astronomer, named it after a nymph in Greek mythology. This nymph, along with her sister Adrastaya, was entrusted to care for the infant Zeus. Their celestial counterparts, Ida and Dactyl, continue their cosmic dance, orbiting around each other as they journey through space. Ida and Dactyl, a celestial duo, continue their journey across the cosmos. Next, we meet asteroid Itakawa, discovered in 1998 by the Lincoln Laboratory Near-Earth Asteroid Research Team. Named after Hideo Itakawa, a pioneer in the field of rocketry, Itakawa holds a special place in the annals of space exploration. Itakawa was a visionary who is often hailed as the father of Japanese rocketry. His contributions to the field paved the way for Japan's foray into space exploration. The asteroid that bears his name shares his pioneering spirit. Itakawa was the first asteroid from which samples were successfully captured and returned to Earth. These samples, delivered to Earth in June of 2010, have provided invaluable insights into the early solar system. But Itakawa isn't just a rock in space, it's a rugged and mysterious world, its surface studded with boulders, it's thought to be composed of rock fragments that have become loosely stuck together over billions of years. Itokawa, a treasure trove of information about our early solar system. Then we encounter the historical asteroid Lutetia, discovered by Hermann Goldschmidt in 1852. Named after the Latin name for Paris, Lutetia weaves a fascinating tale of celestial history. Its form is far from perfect, an irregular shape that bears the scars of heavy cratering. The largest of these impact craters stretches a staggering 45 kilometers in diameter, a testament to the asteroid's resilience in the face of cosmic forces. But perhaps what makes Lutetia truly unique is its surface. It's covered by an unusually thick deposit of regolith, or loose dust and rock fragments. This layer can reach up to 2,000 feet deep, a characteristic that sets Lutetia apart from its asteroid companions. This ancient wanderer of our solar system with its weathered, dust-laden exterior tells a story of resilience and survival. Lutetia, a silent witness to the solar system's history, continues its solitary journey. Finally, we meet the enigmatic asteroids Tutatis and Geographos. The story of Tutatis begins on a cold February day in 1934. Lost to us for several decades, it was rediscovered in the late 80s by French astronomer Christian Paulus. Named after the Celtic god of tribal protection, Tutatis is known for its chaotic orbit. This Mars crosser asteroid has had its fair share of close encounters with Earth the most notable being in December 2012 when it passed within about 18 lunar distances of our planet. Yet we won't see Tutatis making another notably close approach until 2069. Moving on to Geographos, a tale that dates back to September 1951. Discovered by astronomers Albert George Wilson and Rudolf Minkowski at the Palomar Observatory in California, Geographos is a highly elongated stony asteroid. This near-Earth object is part of the Apollo group and is considered potentially hazardous due to its close proximity to Earth. Its orbit, eccentric and moderately inclined, is well determined for the next several hundred years. In fact, Geographos holds another title, that of a Mars-crosser asteroid. From their chaotic orbits to their close brushes with Earth, Tutatis and Geographos are two celestial bodies that never fail to intrigue. They continue their solitary sojourns across the cosmos, a testament to the enigmatic beauty of our universe. Tutatis and Geographos, two enigmatic wanderers, continuing their solitary sojourns across the cosmos. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.